everyone. It's Lee with Arts Council OKC Creative Aging Program, and today we're going to do cowboy boots, because who doesn't love cowboy boots? And we're going to need, you know, a number two, just a pencil, a felt tip pen, I've got a ultra fine Sharpie, and then I also have a fine tip Sharpie, so if, it's, if you want to do a little bit heavier line, and then a good old eraser. And the, you know, cowboy boots are great because you can personalize them and do any kind of funky thing with them. And so you can make them look like stitching. This is actually really pretty easy. You know, some people look at this and think, oh my gosh, that's really difficult. But I just did the star shapes. And then I just actually just followed the line around them. And it looks really cool. And it's not very hard, but it, you know, looks time consuming but it's not same thing with this one over here I just did circles and just kind of kept going around and nothing is very exact so part of it is about having fun and this one you know I just did diamonds and, and dotted lines to look like stitching on that that one even has a nice spur you can have high heels low heels you know you could even have a stiletto boot if you wanted and this one has a combination of both you know of Stuff that looks like it's stitched and some that just looks like, you know, different colors of leather. And you can make it really simplified or you can get totally really detailed. I liked the idea of just starting with one boot because, you know, then you can do a nice simple profile. And if you want, you can do a couple of boots. This is just a really simple one that, you know, is not decorated, but just to show that you can also do two boots. You know, if you if you want it's just nice to kind of uh start out with one but feel free so what i've done and you know as per the usual just start out with your basic outline of a boot uh, and i like to have an idea of kind of what i'm trying to do when i start now i'm pretty heavy-handed when i draw you know, as most of you know. So the lighter, when you sketch it in, it's actually better if you do it lighter. This is kind of heavy, um, but you get the idea. And on this one, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do some flowers. And so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get started with um, doing the outline and filling it in so we can see from here. So anyway, and the main thing is just you know, I'm a big fan of, you know, you can experiment and try new things. And I, you know, even when I start doing the outline, I just try to kind of keep it light and loose. Now, later on, you can come back and put a nice heavy black outline if you want. And that's totally fine. Now, just be aware that, you know, the difference between this nice little ultra fine Sharpie and the fine is that sometimes when you use the thick, heavier one, it really kind of, it changes the tone of the boot. You know, like this has a nice heavy line with the big felt tip, you know, big fine marker. And then everything else is a little less. Now, because it becomes a little more stylized and that's totally fine if that's the look you're going for. I'm gonna kind of stick with, initially just using the ultra fine Sharpie. And I like to go in and kind of get all of the major shapes. And in drawing the boot, what I like to do is I like to start with the sole of the boot just so that I know how long the boot's going to be. And then if you start at the lower part of the paper, then, you know, you can make the top of your boot really tall if you want, or you can make it short. But this way, if you start the bot, you know, the sole of your boot down here, lower at the bottom of the paper, then you have plenty of room. And so... And I'm just going to keep going around and outlining. But boots are a really nice, simple shape. You know, if you're not used to doing a lot of drawing, this is a good one to come into and just kind of have fun with. So and this one has a nice slope on the front. Yeah, and I'm just getting in all the basics here. This one has some leather straps to help you pull them on and then what will help clear, clear up your design too is once you're done doing the 
the pen, then you can go back and erase the pencil. And then also, and here again, doing your pencil lightly is also helpful when you're doing when you're erasing, so then it doesn't have the ghosting effect. So I'm just gonna kind of come in here. And I was deciding as to whether I want this to be like a hard line or if I want it to be stitched. I think it's gonna be a combination of both. So. And then just remember, you know, as we go along, just embrace your mistakes, you know, incorporate it into the design. If there's some strange mark that you make and you go, oh my God, you know, no worries, just keep going. That's part of practicing drawing is just learning how to incorporate things that you might have not initially intended, but then maybe you like it even better or, you know, it's part of the, this is the class, you know, this is part of the learning process. And also another thing too, as far as your boots are concerned, you can go online and you know, they have all sorts of boot images or actual cowboy boots that people have that you can, if you want a really interesting, funky style. So, and you can make anything up, you know, I made up some of these as I went. So, you know, cause boots are great, you know, and have lots of personality in them. So, and I like wrinkles. So this one's gonna have some wrinkles in it. And you can, they can be more realistic or more stylized, you know, whatever suits your fancy. And then, you know, you can do a lot of cross hatching or not, but I like to, you know, add a little bit in here for the heel. And here again, you don't need a straight edge. Just remember that the closer the lines are together, the darker it seems like the more in shadow. And I'm gonna do a little bit of cross hatching this way so and you can just do it you can do a combination you know add a little bit here on this heel and remember just kind of take your time and see I have a little I went whoops out there don't worry about it just keep going so and some of these have a little bit of a line in here and you can add little dots and stuff to add a little visual interest. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in and I think what I wanna do is, on the, I'm gonna work on the flowers now, is I think for the, they're stylized flowers. And so what I wanna do is just kinda of go in and do the inside of the circle to look kind of like stitching. And it's okay if it isn't perfect. I'm just gonna do little dashed lines in here. And then I'll just kinda, of get all of these in place and move on to the next step. And then too, you know, if you decide, well, the dashed lines that I wanted to look like stitching don't really look right, you, you can make it a solid line. You can totally change your mind as you're going along. I do that all the time, so. You make things just have fun, you know, and I'm always a fan of you guys experimenting and trying new things. So my goal in this boot is to actually be a little bit of a darker boot. You know, now you can have yours really simple and totally white with a few bits of shading and that's fine. I'm gonna, my goal here in a little bit is to actually fill it in this, the front part of the boot to see you know, with some cross hatching to kind of make it, give it a dark, you know, make it look like a black boot. So anyway, we'll see, I might change my mind before we get there, so. And then here I'm gonna go in and on the inside of the boot, you know, just kind of do a little bit of shading so that, you know, it's the interior. And then here again, I'm just doing some lines and then I'll come back and do some other, some more so you know it's the inside of the boot and that it's shaded here. So I'm gonna do a little hatch in here. And you, it's okay if you know you're not really, you can do directional lines so you can have it curve or not. This we're just kind of doing the basics of, you know, simplified cowboy boots so it's a little more stylized, but in certain areas, you can certainly do directional lines and, you, and 
but it's okay if you don't. It just depends on how you want it to look because you can flatten it visually or give it real lots of curves. And I'm coming in here and adding more shading just because I know it's darker down in here. So I'm just really just kind of have fun with it. And you can just keep step back and look at it as you go and see what you like and what you don't. And so this may seem like you need more you know, more hatching and just do keep going. If it seems too light in there, add some more lines. And then don't really get too bogged down in one area, just keep going. I like to kind of keep getting the basics and then See, but look, the more lines you add, the more interesting it gets. So it, it, you know, as you know, this is a process and it just takes a little bit of time. So you guys, you can do this. Just take your time. There's no rush. So, all right, now I'm gonna start working on the petals here and I'm just gonna go around. And you know, boots are great. You can do anything on here. You can do hearts, you can do storm clouds, rainbows, whatever your heart's fancy. So just, just have fun with it. You know, sometimes it's helpful to look at something and then, and sometimes it's just fun to make something up. So whatever you're comfortable with is great. The main thing is that you're having fun. You know, as long as you're learning something or just enjoying yourself, that's the main thing. Okay. You know, and it's fun. These are similar enough to each other, but they're not exact, and that's totally fine. I mean, that's what I like, but, you know, I know some of you are more precise than I am, and that's totally fine. So, but just keep it fun. Don't get too bogged down in having things be exact. So, and see, you can change your mind while you're doing it. Ha, huh, change that. Don't know if that's for the better yet or not, but we'll keep going. Okay, hopefully you can still see the boot. I kind of move things on you. So, now I'm going to go in and add a few leaves here. And, you know, and like I said, just free form is great. doesn't have to be perfect. All right. Just getting, I don't know which leaf that is to which flower, and that's totally fine. They're all kind of connected, so it's not a, a big importance here. But see, it starts slowly coming together. So, anyway. All right. See, I'm changing my mind as I go. No big deal. So, all right. Now, what I think what I've decided to do is I want to go in here and add an outline around the flowers here. Now I'm not gonna do a really hard edge. I'm just kinda, you know, I want it to be darker, but I don't want it to be a solid black line. But, and there are, you know, any number of ways of doing this, but I'm just gonna kinda add some more lines here. So. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do a, you know, 
a heavier line, you can. I like using this little pin, as I've said before, and just using it. you know, over and over again in certain areas. I'm gonna do something a little different with this one, so. Boop, didn't do anything, did it? Huh. Okay. So anyway. All right, so what I decided I wanna do is I'm gonna, cause I want this to be a little bit darker around here, but I don't want a solid black line. I'm just gonna kind of come in here and do little lines and this is not precise because that's one of the things you know a lot of people think that art has to be precise and some sure some does depends on your what you're trying to do but in this instance you know by doing little short lines in here it creates some really nice visual texture but it's not hard you know or difficult but it looks interesting so anyway and you just keep going. And you know what? If you get in here and you start doing this and, and you go, oh, I don't really like that, then do something else. It's totally fine. That's part of the learning process. And just drawing in general, you know, you kind of start one thing that you think is going to look really cool and you go, ooh, I don't like that at all. And then you do something else. Totally fine. So you just keep going. And, you know, you guys are going to take your time. You know, you're not... in no need to be in a hurry because I think cowboy boots are really cool decorative things but I like boots anyway so I don't know um, anyway so we're just going along and continuing here my music stopped I don't know why but hey it's all right Okay, so we're just going to continue on. The big band station stopped, oh well. Okay, so just, you know, and it, you know, it starts kind of looking interesting, so it's kind of a combination between, um, looks like stitching and just leather work, so it's all good. sure about this little flower up here. Oh well, it's okay. So you guys are getting this. And uh, let's see. And I still think this looks okay. I'm going to finish these up. You know, instead of having just a solid And I know I'm bouncing around on this boot, so, but whatever. However it suits you is totally fine. So, anyway. Or it can be a combination of filling stuff in. And some of these overlap, and that's fine, too. I don't mind. Okay. So, you're, you know, okay. All right, so it's coming together. You know, all of this takes time. You know, some of it's a little more stylized than others, and that's okay, too. So what I want to do is for what I, you know, kind of like with the stars, I'm going to go in here around the leaves and just kind of make some lines just because to give it some interest and kind of, like this, and then if there's more than one, I'll just kind of split it. And this one will kind of come in here. And I just kind of follow that shape. And then there. And like I said, this doesn't have to be precise, and then this one will kind of start here. And then I'll kind of carry this like that. And then I'll just echo that shape this way. And then on this one, I'll just kind of pretend that it's going all the way through. So, 
Okay, and then when you have a few, then you just kind of figure out where you can start them all and then just kind of see how they end up bouncing with each other. So, and then I'm just gonna keep this one and just go in that way with it. And that, okay, keep going in here. And so the main thing is just to kind of have an idea of how it's flowing and you can change it as you go, so totally fine. And this is just to add some kind of interest in here. Okay, all right. And let's see. And I can just add some lines going in up here. Just for fun, why not? Okay. So as you can see, it's, it, you know, the boots starting to come together and, you know, just the more lines we, we add or you add, the more interesting it gets. So what I want to do that now, and, and this, you can take a step back and look. And so for me now, the leaf's kind of getting lost in all of the other lines, which that's fine. But what I can do is kind of come back in here and just put a little bit of a heavier line then around the leaf so then that kind of brings them back out so okay so I'll just go and do that so. and so you all I know you guys are gonna come up with some really cool stuff because cowboy boots are just a lot of fun I mean I think so anyway and just enjoy yourself I'm gonna and then we'll just go in and add but this actually brings the line, the leaves back out. So, and I think that works better. That looks better to me. Anyway, so. All right. And then they'll be even more apparent too, a little bit whenever. We, whenever the pencil is pencil lines are erased. So. Put this in. Okay, let's see. We've got most of them. Add a few little details. Okay. All right. And, and you know, and you can go in and add, you know, another dark line around the flower. I kind of like how this boot is really pretty simplified, except for up here, you know, in the really fun decorative part. But you can kind of, you can go back in and add some dots for just some texture. And if you don't like this, then you can make it a solid line. Now, I'd wait until you erase your pencil lines the first time just to kind of see what everything looks like. You might decide that you like certain things that you thought you might not once um, the pencil is not underneath anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of, I'm going to find where this is. Okay, I'm just going to add some more lines down here to the sole here. And like I said, just experiment with your hatching, you know, change your lines, do cross hatching, you know, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, whatever. Make some a little shorter, some a little longer. So anyway, and like I said, just kind of have fun with it. We're going to have one like this. So, you know, and let's see if I can, I'm going to go in here and what I want to try to do is, like I was talking earlier, is really kind of give you the sense that this boot is a dark boot. So and now, and now on this instance, I am going to kind of do some directional lines. Now remember, slow down. You don't have to be fast and then I'm going to kind of turn this around so we're gonna curve up this way and add some 
stuff here on the heel. It looks a little strange because initially, and that's fine. I'm gonna add some in here. And you might say, Lee, you just jacked up your boot. That's okay. We're, we're, this is, you know, it's fun to experiment and see. But just by, you know, how I'm doing the lines, you know, they're up more upright here and they're flatter here, then you get the sense of the undulation of the boot itself. So, and, and just practice with it. So, and then I'm gonna come back in here and do some different. And if you're wanting a solid, you know, color, to look more like a solid darker surface, you're gonna have to go over this a few times and that's fine. But then just keep doing the, you know, directional lines. So you can have short lines and long lines and as long as you're kind of moving them. And then sometimes you might go, wow, I'm not sure what I did that for because I messed it up, but that's okay, just keep going. So I'm kind of going back across in a different way. And, you know, a lot of artists just experimenting and just trying new things. And, and this helps you for the next time. So sometimes you like the way some things look and then other times you're like, mm, I'm not sure about that. Then, you know, you don't necessarily want to do that for the next time. So that's fine. So. And then what I'll do is I'll keep going and, you know, doing the rest of it and filling it in. But you get the idea of this, okay? And just have fun with it and keep going. And, you know, this looks a little, you know, a little rustic and that's fine. And, you know, you can also go over some parts of it, you know, outline it with a heavier outline, which makes it a little more dramatic. Uh, lots of things you can do. So the main thing is just experiment, try new things. Start out with your basic shape and figure out what kind of, how you want to embellish it and just take it slow and go from there. The main thing is just have fun and enjoy yourselves and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.